What's up guys? Today we're going to put this to the test because I've always heard if you heat your um, your Ender 3 Pro bed up too, too high then your uh, magnets will lose their ability to magnetize I guess and uh, so I thought what you know what's the point of having a um, a 3D printer that can heat up hot enough to print like ABS and nylon, you know, some of the uh, higher temp filaments, but the minute you do, your bed becomes useless. So, which I print with glass anyway, I don't use this. So I thought why not give it a test because if it does ruin it like everyone says it will, then it's no big deal to me because I don't use, I don't use this anyway. It's super nice. For removing prints but I don't use it I don't like how uh, it just I just don't like it so we will uh, we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna crank the heat up on this bed and um, we'll see if it's true or not well, 135, that's max. I don't know of any filament that you're going to print that high. Anyway, I think they said over 80, uh, your bed's done. So, we'll, we'll go 135, see what happens. I'll speed this up. Okay, we're closing it on 80, which is supposed to be the, you know, the kill point of something about the curry strength or whatever in the magnets. I'm not really very informed on curry and all that magnetic ratings, but we are over the 80 degrees, which is supposed to destroy Still gripping for now, but we're gonna go all the way to 135, and we'll see if it's a myth. We'll see if it ruins the magnetics. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're at uh, almost 100 here. Okay, there's 100. So. It's never been this hot before. Still gripping, just like normal. Uh, I can smell like a heat smell. Like um, it's never been this hot before, so I just smell, I guess, parts heating up that's normally not ever been this hot. Like uh, I don't know. Like the first time you turn your furnace on in the winter that kind of burn off smell or something but we'll let it keep going I've noticed it slowed way down it heats up to 60 fairly quick but now it seems like it's you know one degree every couple seconds so it is slowing down on the heat speed or 104 105 we'll let it go Okay, we're at 113 and it's really struggling to to go up another degree. So, um, I don't know. I don't know if it will reach 135. This is Celsius. Um, 
Fahrenheit, I think 110 is like 230 or what? No, let's see. 112 is 233. Well, we got up to 114. So we'll see where it tops out and then we'll check the magnets from there and then I'll let it cool down completely and retest the magnets to see to see if it ruins your your uh, your build plate or not. Okay, we're at 120 Celsius, um, and it's literally taken 20, 30 seconds to go up one degree at this point. So, which that is what two uh, two forty eight two forty eight. Fahrenheit, well there's 121, so at 120, that's 200, basically 250 degrees Fahrenheit um, for an unenclosed, you know, just open air bed, surprised it even went that high, but we're going to let it keep going and see how close we can get, I don't know, I don't want something to start melting under there, but We'll see. There's 122. Okay, we're at 125. That's Celsius. Now that is uh, two what two fifty two fifty seven Fahrenheit. I don't know if there's anything you will ever print on a temperature that high. I mean, if you printed PLA on that, I mean, it, it would melt into a blob on the you know and you can't touch this this is this is hot so at this point it becomes dangerous or harmful um, you would definitely get burned uh, it still it still feels feels like it's gripping I uh, can't really grab a hold enough to get a good tail but we're gonna well 126 now you see how long it's taken to go one degree I don't know if it's going to get to 135 because it was bouncing back and forth at 124 it clicked 125 then clicked back to 124 so I thought that was pretty much the limit but now we're at 126 um, and it's 73 degrees in the house so if this was in an enclosure or depending on your ambient temperature is going to affect how hot you can get your build plate but 126 we're going to call it there it might creep on up but this is way hotter than you would ever print anyway so we're going to call it at 126 let this thing cool down and I will be back and we'll test this Okay, this has had about an hour to cool down completely. Um, so let's let's give this a test. Well, clearly it's still. Let me get this out of the way. still really grippy and if anything it seems like it's a little a little stronger so I don't know that um, that goes to show you don't don't believe everything you hear um, now I don't know if over time continual cycles would affect anything but from what I've heard the minute you go over 80 Celsius your uh, magnetic surface is done for and that's clearly not the case so I mean I was at 126 
and that is like 250 something Fahrenheit so and like I said you're never going to print like ABS I think that you know 90 to 100 is, is good and we went well over that uh, and we stayed there for you know over a hundred for a good 20 minutes uh, so that uh, that seems to me like it's a myth and of course you know if you have a magnetic bed and <clears throat> You know, do it at your own risk. I don't want to be responsible if if you do try to uh, print the high temp filaments and then your heat bed stops working or your magnetic stops working. But I wouldn't have any issue at all uh, printing ABS on this and cranking my my bed to 100 degrees Celsius, and um, you know I would have no I would I would do it no problem I mean I wouldn't think twice about it so it's up to you uh, your printer do what you want but for me if I want to uh, heat to uh, over a hundred and print I'm going to with no worries because guys if anything it feels like the grip is stronger But I use glass anyway. I don't use this. Um, my bed has a very small, you can see I have a piece of blue painter's tape in the middle. It has a very small concave dip in the bed. And no matter what I try, I cannot get. But I put a piece of glass on there and it just, you know, it does perfect. So. I think the uh, the 80 degrees Celsius uh, is just a crock. I don't know. Someone's got bad information. I'm sure they know what they're talking about when they're talking about uh, Curry ratings of magnets and and whatnot. But I'm not even sure if that's the type of magnets used in this. I know there's different types. Um, so, like ferrite, uh, who knows? I don't know. What kind they use, but I do know one thing: you go over 80 degrees Celsius and you have zero problems, unlike everything I've always heard. So, I was at 126. You're never going to print there, and it's fine. So, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching.